I know you're busy running your online empire, but there's that occasional time where you might need to throw together some type of image that you want to put on Facebook or Instagram that's talking about maybe your latest program or your new favorite quote that you would just love to share with your audience. And sometimes your team may not be available, so you may have to create this image on your own. But don't worry, with these free programs, I am going to teach you how you can create awesome social imagery without being a graphic designer. Oh. The first program we're going to talk about is PicMonkey. I love that cute little monkey and using their software to enhance photos that I've taken or to create images for my Facebook ads. Yes, this is the program that I use to create most of my social imagery for my Facebook ads. It's quick, it's simple, and it has lots of different banner ideas or call out shapes that I can use to help bring attention to my image when running a Facebook ad. I do have the paid version of PicMonkey, but you can do everything that you want with the free version. The thing that comes with the paid version is more fonts and more options. So you can't go wrong with PicMonkey. It is a great tool that will help you add neat filters and graphics paired with fonts onto your images. Next up is a new one that I am actually falling in love with as we speak. Okay, well maybe not as we speak right now, but I am falling in love with Canva, C-A-N-V-A.com. This program has pre-made template sizes. So if you want to create a business card or a poster or maybe even a social image, you can click right on their pre-done options and it will open up with those dimensions. Then they have many different templates that you can use. Just search for anything, a line, a circle, a square, and it's going to come up with lots of different options. There are free and there are paid, but you can't go wrong with the free options. There are a plethora of them. So go check out canva.com. This program is going to be one that will help you create those social images from nothing to an actual social image. Whereas PicMonkey, you might take an image that you already have and edit it from there. So that's kind of the way that I have found a difference in the two programs. So Canva I use as more of a blank canvas and PicMonkey I use for more of editing my images that I've already taken. And last but not least, if you are looking for a solution that reminds you of Photoshop, Pixlr, P-I-X-L-R.com might be just what you are looking for. Pixlr has a look similar to Adobe Photoshop and it does have more of a learning curve than trying to learn PicMonkey or Canva. So if you are already versed in Photoshop, you know what you are doing, Pixlr might be just what you're looking for. But if you are kind of new at this and you're just looking for a quick solution, then I highly recommend that you check out PicMonkey or Canva. There are many more options for you to use to create your own social imagery and graphics. These are just my top three picks. We've included a few more below for you to check out and see which one you like the best. I've also included a tutorial below for Canva Canva and PicMonkey so that you can learn how to use these graphic imagery programs to create your social graphics. If you enjoyed this video, please make sure to share it with your friends and leave a comment below with your favorite social imagery program. This has been Allie Rittenhouse with Tech Out Thursday.